Well, we are getting a first-hand look at how some charities are changing how they reach the homeless population of Rochester since the Loomis Street encampment was forced to move and as winter sets in. Alex Love rode along with volunteers from the Vineyard and joins us with their approach. Alex. So the Vineyard is mainly known for handing out food bags and clothing at their headquarters off Sanders Street, Isabel. But volunteers have recently been focused on driving around the city looking for new encampments popping up, saying the Loomis Street closure and changes with the House of Mercy are making the homeless move around more. Our elected officials need to come on. You got people out here who need your help. Earlier this week, James McQueen and his husband Daniel relocated to this encampment on the west side of Rochester by 490. They claimed they could not get into the House of Mercy shelter, leaving the couple to stay in this shack, relying on fire from a grill to stay warm. We need jobs, we need housing, and we need it now. Because I don't want to stay out here no more. Seven and a half years is too long. As the full force of winter hits Rochester, Sister Marsha Allen and her team of volunteers at the Vineyard have switched gears to driving around the city delivering hot meals, Narcan, and rugs for tents at encampments. They also brought doctors offering free checkups and medicine. They're looking at their oxygen level and checking their blood pressure. Uh, right now we had a patient who wanted their blood sugars checked because uh, she was just in the hospital with pneumonia with very high blood sugars. So just giving them some basic uh, idea of their health. When doing this, the vineyard has had to rely on directions through word of mouth from other homeless people to locate new encampments or people moving to other ones since Loomis Street was fenced off. They go to an area, of course the neighbors complain, so they're moving, which makes it hard for us to take care of them, but they don't really have anywhere to go. That displacement is very difficult. We got to figure out how to solve that problem. In order to keep this approach to caring for the homeless possible, more volunteers and donations are needed to the Vineyard, which can be dropped off every Saturday to their headquarters at 126 Sanders Street. You can also call Sister Marsha Allen to join at 951-543-5778. Isabel. All right, thank you very much for that report there, Alex. And we'll have that addressed as well as that contact info over at rochesterfirst.com in this article. The Vineyard is also planning, they tell us, to build more emergency shelters at their headquarters next year and use them for warming stations, which volunteers say are also needed.